Welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you an alternate way of doing the click to equip that I did in a prior video. The way this method is going to work is you're still going to be able to click on the tool, but rather than giving you that particular item, it's going to make a copy of the item which is stored under server storage and give that copy to the player. So let me go ahead and show you how this works with the items in the background. So for the hammer, I can click on it and it shows up in the player's hand. I can do the same thing with the hamburger. And finally, for the gun. I can't promise that this is going to work for every single tool possible because they're all made differently. But this is another way that you can try if you're having issues with the first method. Alright, so let's go ahead and dive in and see how we can do this in Roblox Studio. Before we get started, I just want to say that if you're getting tools from the toolbox, it's preferable if the tools are just composed of a single part like this here and not composed of a bunch of different parts like this right here. So this is the gun over here in the corner and you can see that it's composed of a bunch of different parts and that seems to be what's causing issues for people. So if you can, if there's multiple copies of a similar tool, try to choose the one that's composed of just a single part. All right, so let's go ahead and see how we can set this up now. So let's say you have this hammer tool here that you want to be able to click on to make a copy of. Then what you want to do is have that hammer in the workspace. And then you also want to make a copy of it by right clicking and press copy. And then you want to put that copy inside the tools folder by right clicking and then pressing paste into. So inside your tools folder will be all the different tools that you want to be able to click on for the player to get. The next thing we're going to take a look at is the inside of the hammer tool. And you'll see inside this hammer tool, it doesn't have a part name handle. I actually renamed it to main. And the reason I did this is if the parts name is handle, then the player is able to pick it up by walking over it. So if you want to prevent that and only have the player be able to get it by clicking on it, then just change the part named handle to something else. And inside that main part of the tool, what you want to do next is add a click detector. And then we're going to be adding a script directly inside of the tool. And it's important that it goes inside of the tool and not inside of the part. So make sure for your script, it's just inside of the tool. Now let's go and see what we have to do for the script. So inside the script here, we're going to start by saying local tool is equal to script dot parent. Next, we're going to reference the click detector. So we're going to say local click. And we're going to say that's equal to tool dot main. So if you rename that part to something else, make sure you update it here. So if you want to keep it at handle, then it would say tool dot handle. After main, it's going to be dot and then click detector. Next, we're going to reference the server storage and also our folder. So we're going to start by saying local server storage is equal to game colon get service. Inside the parentheses, you're going to put server storage. Next, we're going to say local tools folder. And this is going to be equal to server storage colon wait for child. And then the name of the folder is tools. After that, we're going to write a function that will run whenever the part gets clicked. So we're going to say local function. The name of our function can be give tool. Inside the parentheses, we're going to put player, which comes from the player that clicks on the tool. Then we're going to say local new tool is going to be equal to tools folder. And then inside the tools folder, we're going to be looking for the tool that got clicked on. So that's going to be tool dot name. And then after that, we're going to make a copy of it by saying colon and clone. If you look at this line, you might be asking why we said handle instead of main, which is what we renamed the part to. The reason for that is we're taking a look at this tool in the server storage. So under the server storage for this hammer, the main part of this tool is still called handle because that's the part of the tool that is able to be picked up. So that's why we say new tool dot handle because we're talking about the tool in the server storage and not the one in the workspace. The reason I changed the one in the workspace is so the player can't go over and touch it to pick up the tool. After that, we're going to say new tool dot parent is equal to player dot backpack. And finally, we want to run this function whenever the tool gets clicked on. So we're going to say click dot mouse click colon connect. And then inside the parentheses, we're going to put the name of the function. 
All right, so let's go ahead and run the game and make sure everything's working. Okay, so I'm gonna click on the hammer, and you can see when I do that, it gives it to the player. What I'm gonna do next is show you the whole process again so that if there was any confusion, hopefully this will clear it up. So this time, I'm gonna do it with the hamburger. So after you either make the tool or find it from the toolbox and insert it into the workspace, then what you wanna do next is right click on it and press copy. And then you're gonna go down to server storage where you have your tools folder. You're gonna right click on that folder and press paste into. And then you're gonna go back to the tool in the workspace. You're gonna open it up. For the main part, I'm gonna rename it from handle to main. And next, inside this main part, I'm gonna press the plus sign and add a click detector. And then for the scripting part of it, once you have it done once and you wanna add it to another tool, then all you have to do is right click on the script and press copy, and then right click on the next tool and press paste into. There's no changes you have to make for the script because it takes the tool's name automatically and searches for that in the server storage. So let's go and double check with the hamburger now and make sure everything's working. And I can see if I click on the hamburger, then it gives the player that item. All right, so this is gonna be the end of the video. Like I said, this may not work for every tool just depending on how they're made up, but if you wanna leave a comment, I can always try to look into it and see if there's anything I can do for that particular tool. All right, so I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for the next one.